This video is part of a pair of videos closely related and I'll post a link to the other video at the end of this video. Pub Battles as a tabletop role-playing game. One way to think of Pub Battles and a really great way to enjoy it is to play it like a tabletop role-playing game. If you tell somebody you had a great time playing D&D last night, they don't ask you if you won. They ask you what happened. They inquire about the narrative. The whole point of a role-playing game is to immerse yourself in another world. Another world where you are playing another role. You know, if you think of the old-time war games that you say in the side of the box, imagine you are in charge. The whole point of a role-playing game is to imagine another world. Another world where you are playing another role. Instead of imagining that you are in charge, try to imagine what the general on the map in front of you is thinking. What would he do based on the intel available to him? You have near-perfect knowledge of where all the forces are and what they can do. He does not. If you happen to know the history of the battle really well, it is easy to imagine what the various generals are thinking and how they might behave. For instance, at Second Bull Run, Pope had one goal. He wanted to defeat Jackson. He chose to believe that Longstreet had retreated away and was no longer a concern, in spite of all the intel he was receiving contrary to that fact. You don't need special rules to force you to act like that, to play his command that way. Just play his character. Or, as I do, when playing Antietam, where Fitzjohn Porter was court-martialed for failure to act aggressively. I make it fun. I call him the Lion of Antietam. And I have him behave as foolishly and aggressively as I can. You know, if you don't know the history of each general, because I certainly don't, that's okay. You can just give them personalities. Create them as the game plays out. A die roll is not just a die roll. There is a story behind each result. He failed his alter turn or a rule? Well, it looks like he's finishing his cigar first. He's going to tell his aide to send a message to his uncle thanking him for that fine box of cigars. Every game of pub battles creates a story. Enlarge it. Did the green troops hold in, s in the face of an overwhelming attack? They were so green, they didn't even know they were supposed to run. They just held their ground like they were told. The best stories are when the unexpected happens. Every battle has them. Don't curse the rules system. Enjoy the story.